Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Multiverse Python and today we are gonna do a code chef problem broken telephone. So the problem says chef is judging a game called broken telephone. There are total n players taking part in the game. They are all sitting in a line. In the start of the game, first player is given a secret message written on a sheet of paper. Then they keep sending the message by whispering it to the player sitting immediate right to one and so on until it reaches the last person. Finally, the message received by the last player is compared with the message said by first player. If these messages are not equal, there is someone who has misheard the message or whispered it wrongly to the next player. If messages is equal, then the players win and receive a tasty chocolate. Note that first player receives the message on a sheet of paper, thus he cannot mishear it. As chef wants to be sure that every player has fulfilled his or her role in the game. So he asks everyone to state their received messages after the end of the game. You are given an array A of n integers denoting messages received by each person. Please help chef to find the number of players that could mishear the message or whisper it wrongly. So this is the input. Uh, this is the output. These are the constraints and subtasks. This is the sample input, sample output and this is the explanation. So before moving into solving this problem, uh, first I want to uh, tell you the basic concepts that we will use further in this problem. Okay. So I'm taking here the same sample inputs that uh, they have given here. So the first list is this. So here you can see this is this is the zeroth index, this is the first index and this is the second index. So the player in the second index, there is a possibility that he could have whispered the word wrongly and the player in the third index there is a possibility that he could have misheard the word wrongly so basically in this problem we need to find the number of players that could have misheard or whispered the word wrongly in the same way the player in the fifth index could have whisper the word wrongly and the player in the last index could have misheard the word wrongly. So basically in this list there are four players who could have misheard or whispered the word wrongly. In the second list the player in the zeroth index could have whispered the word wrongly. To whom? To the person to the or to the player in the first index see the elements are not same and the player in the first index could have misheard the word wrongly and the player in the second index could have misheard the word wrongly from whom from the player in the first index so there are total three players who could have misheard or whisper the word wrongly but in the last list all the elements of this list are same so is there any player who could have misheard or uh, whispered the word wrongly no there are no player in this list who could have misheard or whispered the word wrongly so the answer is zero okay so the same we are doing in this problem First, I am taking the total number of test cases for underscore in range. For underscore in range, int input n is equal to int input lst is the uh, lst is basically the array this whole list or array list int comma 
input dot split this int is telling that the elements in this list are integer for i in range n minus 1 if i will tell you later in this problem why i have written here n minus 1 if answer is equal to true and lst i is not equal to lst i plus 1 so this is the reason why i have written n minus 1 there because in the first list uh, like i am taking the value of i 5 then the value of i plus 1 will be what 6 obviously and what will be the value of lst1 bracket i plus 1 will be 2 now when the value of i becomes 6 then obviously the value of i plus 1 will be 7 and the lst1 square brackets i plus 1 will become not defined so this is the reason why i have written n minus 1 there count plus equal to 2 answer is equal to false basically uh, answer variable is checking the starting and the end point of the players that could have misheard or whispered the word wrongly here i have missed writing the value of count and answer that is 0 comma true lf answer is equal to false and list i Mount plus equal to one LF answer is equal to false and LSTI is equal to LST I plus one answer is equal to two. So now I am printing the value of count. So my answer for the sample input is coming correct. So let's submit my answer. See my answer is coming correct. So this is all by my side and please like share and subscribe. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye.